What I wanted to do was put together a living quilt of stories of people's triumphs and um, what they've actually gone through in their lives with HIV. I want this to be also a celebration of their lives. I get a little emotional when I think about it. I also want Upwards to be a huge resource center for people to find um, different services that they can access. Um, especially for people who are living in remote areas. Who are, we have some who are shut in so that refuse to come out, refuse to look for medical treatment, refuse to talk to anybody about this. And I think this is a way for them to just come out and ask questions. Um, my son was positive at birth. Um, he did six, week, uh, six weeks of AZT and six weeks of Batrum, Backstrom. Um, he was tested at three months, came back negative, was tested again at six months down at uh, Westchester Medical Center, uh, came back negative um, and was tested again at a year in his negative and his uh, pediatrician feels that it's not necessary that he be tested again because he's, he's a healthy nine and a half year old boy. Um, the pride and joy of my life. Once you get people to open up and start talking about it, because I know silence is really the biggest problem. There are still a lot of people that are afraid of people that may be HIV positive or very reticent to talk about it, especially within uh, my own community. It is still a taboo subject. And I think not making, trying to make people more comfortable, but making that dialogue accessible. Letting them know that it's really, even though we may be afraid of it, even though, you know, we shouldn't be, but because there are ways, you know, to get into treatment, there are ways to get access to education, but as long as we're not talking about it, we'll never get to that point. No hay cura, pero hay medicamento. Y eso nos puede ayudar, nos ayuda a vivir más, sí, un poco más, sí. Es aceptar la enfermedad. En segundo, es echarle ganas a ustedes mismos o nosotros mismos, porque si nosotros decaemos, la enfermedad nos acaba, sí. Hay que, hay que tratar de buscar toda la información y toda la ayuda posible, porque sí la hay. No somos los únicos. Yo entiendo, al principio es difícil, si sí, yo me sentí igual, yo me sentí solo, yo pensaba que era el único, pero no, hay mucha gente que no está infectada, pero está ayudando a los que estamos viviendo con esto. Sí, lo primero es acepten, busquen ayuda, sí, y más que nada, pues, si hacen sexo, sexo seguro. Well, I think just having um, people to trust and to be able to really work on issues and come up with solutions for problems. Um, many times people have been traumatized so much during their lives that they've lost hope or they've really struggled with being able to trust people. Um, I think one of the most gratifying things about working with people is to really reach out and be able to make a difference. I can only imagine what it would be like for someone who learns that they're diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. And my heart breaks not only for them, but also for the families that are involved and the loved ones and friends um, who care for this person. And so I actually consider it a privilege to work for an, an agency like Catherine Street Community Center that provides HIV and AIDS programming that can help these people, help um, those who are infected with HIV and AIDS um, to have an improved quality of life. I, my patient calls me Roberto. If they want to, they don't have to call me Dr. Corrales. I, wanted, I, I always want them to feel safe in, my, in the clinic that I work in, which is AIDS care. I want them to feel that they can trust their providers, that they're going to work with them. It's a patient-centered approach um, plan that we have in our clinic. Our theory is patient-centered, so they're in the middle of the circle. The patient has responded more to me when, when I give them choices, and then they pick what they want to take when they're ready to take. I don't force them to take their medicines immediately because they may not be ready. No one's going to die after a week of thinking or two weeks of thinking until they're ready to take their medicines. Then if if they're the ones who pick the medicines that you, you give them equally good choices, they're more likely to stay with the medicines and, and actually be uh, a part of their health care. So that they're, they're saying, I chose this medicine for me, for my HIV, rather than, oh, here's what, here's what my doc gave me. So that they're, they're, they're part of the plan from the very, very beginning. They said I had a count of somebody that's had it over 10 years. 
I had a zero count for the longest time. I've been undetectable for like three years now. You know, I, I just don't want to die yet. I think uh, it's maybe it's bad to say, but God only takes the good, right? A lot of people say that I do some, there's a purpose for me to stay alive. 